Welcome and hello. Today is July 4th, 2024. This is the holiday day that celebrates the signing of the Declaration of Independence here in the United States. So a little different than normal, I'll be going over a few inventions that were created right here at home in the United States. And remember, if you stick around or are a returning viewer, remember to like and subscribe to the video, otherwise every firework will turn into jelly beans, and exploding jelly beans are nowhere near as much fun. Now on with the show. Let's start with coffee pots, specifically a percolator. Before the invention by Sir Benjamin Tom Thompson, coffee was made with the grounds just steeping in the water. The percolator combined the tool to heat the water with a filter basket that allowed the grounds to stay in place away from what you drink. So I must thank Sir Benjamin Thomas. He was an American-born individual, but, and he spent mo some chunk of his life in New England, but he also spent a lot of his time elsewhere in Bavaria. He was a non-stop inventor, and he sought to better the life of the poor with many of his studies in heating, cooling, and diet. Robert Fulton invented the steamboat and was born in Little Britain, Pennsylvania. While also inventing other things, he may be most well-known for the Demolus, a steam-powered warship. Straight out of Georgia, Crawford Williamson Long performed the first surgery using ether-based anesthesia and holds on to that discovery for seven more years before releasing it to other po people. Anesthesia is, of course, now widely used for any surgery. Emil Berliner, a German immigrant, invented the platter record so that sound wouldn't get distorted like what was seen with Edison's invention that did much the same thing. This is basically the beginning of record players, recordings of all types, and even laid the groundwork for CDs, DVDs, and Blu-ray. The first atomic bomb was used in a test near Santa Fe, New Mexico by Oppenheimer and his team. And although the Boy Scouts, now the Scouts, was a foreign program first that made its way to the United States, Girl Scouts was invented in Savannah, Georgia by Julia Gordon Lowe. Today, the Girl Scouts is thriving even as the Scouts has seen a drop in popularity in recent years. The Girl Scouts has 2.5 million members according to the most recent records, while the Scouts is only at about 1.12 million, some estimating even lower since that number was recorded. Go American created programs. There are thousands of other things America has created that has changed the world. There's a lot to celebrate about with regards to the United States. Immigrants founded America, continue to make America great, along with our own homegrown population. This is what's great about America, yesterday and today. It may feel like we were having a troubled time, but at the end of the day, we come from a bunch of rebels who didn't want a king to rule, but a people-centric society to flourish. But think of the amazing things we've been able to accomplish with our democracy when comparing to societies that focused on a more single-person-oriented figurehead. Of course, it isn't perfect. This process is messy. And we're going to yell at one another, hopefully like a family at Thanksgiving. If at the end of the day, we can all come together, share a meal, share a story, and make space for our ideas, whether they come from those born far away and now calling this their home, or born local in a small town or big city, we'll need everyone working together. We can still have a great America tomorrow. Happy 4th of July, and put in the comments one of your favorite inventions or things you like about America.